Capitol Hill to work out a compromise health care plan. He Are you out of shape, lonely, sad, carrying a little bit around an extra belly fat? Here at Untamed Strength, we have top-of-the-line equipment. Whether you want to get fitter, stronger, bigger, faster, sexier to attract a mate, we got personal trainers here that'll teach you how to squat, teach you how to deadlift, overhead press, power clean, and get you in the tip-top shape of your life. Swim so free. <laughs> Nipple covers. 11.40, we've been here since 10.15 or so. Long day ahead, fam, long day ahead. We got a little bit of a deadlifts. I hit six hundo for one. Last time we chatted, deadlifts weren't feeling great, and they're still not feeling great. I'm still not uber motivated for this competition, which some of you find critical. That's weird. A human on YouTube has real emotions and doesn't just sugarcoat everything he talks about. How fucking odd that this guy would say one thing negative when he's all about prosperity, positivity, and persistence. That's weird, because I'm gonna be my goddamn self here, and if you don't like me, you can go ahead and leave, and if you love me, you can come ahead and stay. We appreciate you all. So I wasn't feeling great, and so I talked about not feeling great. Uh, haven't been extra motivated to power lift in a sense. Plus, on top of that, I don't even love competing for powerlifting. So it's just been on my head a little bit, talking about my obsessive uh, issues. And so trying to chill out, but we got 600, felt okay. Doing 500 for a couple triples. A couple more sets here. I might do some chin ups. We got um, a brand new project that we're only gonna be able to glimpse at. A uh, little, oh, hey, 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 hey. We got a little uh, uh, secret project with Reebok coming. So we got to take some pictures for that also. Today's actually a pretty busy day. Uh, we probably have what, four projects going today. Um, so we'll give you a glimpse of all of them. Hope you guys appreciate it. Give this thing a thumbs up. Ride with me. I uh, not only mentally been struggling a hair with my deadlift, just being super motivated. Another thing I think that's slowing me down, two things that I've figured out today. Uh, look, I've done this thing for a long time, power lifted, lifted weights, coached in some kind of strength and conditioning manner for 10 years. And I'm still constantly either self-reminding myself, learning something new or learning something old that I forgot. And for me, two things that have been slowing me down, one, I guess three, one, the general motivation to lift heavy just isn't there. I like training, I like getting a little sweat on, um, but it's just whatever right now. Priorities like we talked about in the other video. But deadlift specifically, uh, two, is uh, I'm still a little bit afraid of my back to really crank on this thing. So I'm even even like 585 from last week was slow. I think it's because I wasn't hitting the gas as hard as I could. Um, we're still like in, in, in third gear rather than shifting down. Um, just because I don't want my back to, to, to explode on me. Uh, even though my back doesn't hurt at all, it's just a constant remind it, reminder in my head not to go super hard. Another thing I found today is that I was too far behind the barbell. Um, I've been watching a lot of pullers, like always, I always watch different lifters on Instagram and YouTube, uh, and so many get in such a beautiful upright position, uh, and I forgot that I just can't do that with my long torso, and short femurs, and lack of mobility. That's why people ask about my narrow stance, is because that's, with short femurs, I can't go wide stance, I can't get my knees out to my ankles, one with crappy mobility, I can't force my knees out, and two, my femurs, my thigh bones are short, so uh, I need that closer stance to uh, be able to get my shoulders in the proper uh, uh, position of the bar. And for me, it looks like I'm a little bit over the bar, but that's just how my body is gonna look in the pull, and that's where I'm strongest. So today, on that 600 and my last down reps, I allowed myself to feel, although it may not look that different, to feel a little bit more over the bar. I want my shoulders just over the bar, uh, and that'll allow me to engage back, glutes, hams, and quads better. And then even with a couple of those 500s on the second or third rep, I could really hit the gas, flex those quads as hard as I can. So once I lock in my middle, lock in my lats, lock myself in so my shoulders are over the barbell, which is the case for everybody. Your shoulders should be over the barbell. Uh, then I can really step on the gas, floor it, hit my quads, and then just lean back to finish the lift. That's how I used to pull um, bigger weights, so that's how we plan to pull for these last three weeks. A little bit of sweat here, a little bit of hard work. We've been grinding on Twitch, we've been grinding on YouTube. Connor's already fixing the photos for that top secret project for Reebok. Um, being productive wears me out like a motherfucker. Um, I'm really sensitive, but it also uh, motivates me to keep pushing. So it's a uh, mixed, mixed bag. I mean, I'm a mixed bag of emotions. <laughs> My latest sponsorship. Wonder Bread. White bread, baby. That's yours. Ready, dude? Ready for the B-roll? 
Yeah. I'm like such a fat kid, I love um, things in my mouth. So boba, which Bart introduced me to, I've heard of it and whatever, I've probably been there, I've probably tried it, I never liked it. Bart brought me there and got me a slushed one, which I still can't find in Sacramento. The area I live in just doesn't have that many unique food places as like suburby food places, McDonald's or whatever, but this one's probably 15 minutes away. And Bart introduced me to the slushy kind, but this place has an icy kind. It's absolutely delicious. A little high in sugar probably, but uh, really helps my, uh, is oral fixation, fixation? Fixation. Oral fixation, you know, with the balls. I don't know what that is. What is that? Oh, I'm not thinking that. Talk about Connor's idea of exercise. This is exercise, dude. This is cameraman workout. Exercise. You want to talk about your Twitch? What are you working out? Oh, Our I'm Twitch not. what? The shoot or the skit we just shot? Yeah, but it's too late now, huh? Because we're like back in the future because the cosplay was Thursday and it went awesome, but this video is going up Saturday. Yeah, so they didn't get to see it, huh? We can't really talk about it. If well, I mean, we could talk about it. If you were there, you were there. You're welcome. And it was magical. It was, huh? And there was 300,000 views. And all of those were not bots, and they were real people. And 20,000 million subs. And they were trickling in all day. Some left, some stayed for the whole thing. Some of them will be banned. Some will, a lot will be banned. A lot will be banned. The ban hammer is strong in our community. In your community? In I don't community. ban anybody, all right? Twitch people, you come on in, I'll give you hugs. Twitch, man, has been so much fun. The, 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 the quality of the platform. Look, YouTube's helped me build a career, helped me build a life, helped me build a community, you guys, which I'm very thankful for. But the community on Twitch and the um, how easy it is to use Twitch and interact and all the different features it has are so user-friendly. It's absolutely amazing. I've been loving Twitch. So we've been doing that every Monday through Friday. If you guys want to check it out, I already mentioned that. I'm um, sweating my balls off. Sacramento, for those that don't know, you guys think California, like, oh, it's sunny and beautiful all the time. Sacramento is 100 degrees all summer long. LA is the one that's 70 degrees and sunny all the time. Up in Northern California, where we are, we have plenty of rain, plenty of cold, not freezing where I am, but about 45 minutes away, we get snow. Uh, so we, we have more more uh, seasons than they have down in LA. And right now it's hot as shit. So we just did photo shoot for the, vlog, uh, the live stream we just did. We just did the skit for the beginning of this vlog, maybe, or maybe a separate video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Give the thumbs up if you enjoyed that. It's a little bit of time, a little bit of extra time from the uh, normal content we do and the vlogs we do, uh, but it is fun to dress up and dick around sometimes. It's starting to get hot. Start getting belly sweat. You got the AC on and you get belly sweat. One, you know you're fat. Two, you know it's the summer in Sacktown Valley. You guys push hard uh, alternate camp, you kind of rev up into yeah. things pretty hard? Yeah, because I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get in shape before camp so you can push and then shit like this happens, you can take a day or two yeah, yeah, yeah. and then later and you get back to five days, two days. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Do you want to take it? I'll drink it. Purified water, apple cider vinegar, white balsamic vinegar, vegan probiotic, strawberry, terminado sugar. Is it gonna make you strong? I hope it makes me strong. I hope it makes me half of the killer these two are. Oh, dude. It's a little vinegary. Well, it's not that bad. No? No. I'm trying to tag him, alright? Is it vibe health? This is almost perfect. Two things would make this entire thing perfect. I'll give you two guesses. No, 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 this is delicious. Caffeine. So caffeine is number one. What's number two would make this better? Ice cream. Okay, those, those are a given, those aren't included. Those would always make everything better. One more would make this complete. <laughs> a beer? Boba. Boba. <laughs> Boba and caffeine would make this all primo. Deadlift competition, YouTube videos, podcasts, Reebok secret project, Twitch, skits for YouTube, hanging with the homies, eating good food. We're juggling a bunch of things. Uh, talked about uh, my favorite fighter and randomly the boy Cody No Love showed up to uh, lunch with us, Cynthia, quick meal. Uh, I love talking to people like that. I like people that are obsessed or really good at one thing. 
um, because I think it's rare in this world. Most people like go to their day-to-day -day job, they're probably not good at it and they don't care about it. But like talking to Cynthia about how much training she does and the variety of it and seeing her eyes light up saying like, I remember watching on TV, Ronda Rousey getting signed to the UFC and knowing that I could build a career out of this. Like seeing her genuine excitement, that kind of stuff excites me, it gets me fired up. So cool to see the homies. Uh, about to go Twitch right now, we got an hour and a half. Uh, Connor's about to head home. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for chilling in this deadlift day in the life. I'm Mr. Incredible video. Go see Mr. Incredibles 2 in theaters. Not an ad. I wish it was an ad. Pixar, hit me up. Maybe I'll be in a movie sometime. I think I could do voiceovers. I don't know if I could act. I think I could act, but I don't want to play that game. I think I could do a voiceover. Um, so if any cartoon companies out there want me to be the voice of your cartoon, like a fat elephant or something like that, I think I could be a funny, cute, fat elephant. Appreciate you guys. Thumbs up. Catch you in the next one. Oh, my God.